I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly gun and tarot reading this week, my beautiful Aquarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, weekly general reading, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, Aquarius, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And so as well, Aquarius, I would really appreciate it if you would also take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, uh, Aquarius, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I'm always appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that which I already said um, but before I get into this reading for you Aquarius I do want to say just give me a moment I'm about to pull the cards I do want to say, my beautiful Aquarius, that I don't want to have any tarot reading in my tarot reading or any of my tarot readings that I do make a decision in your life. I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give a perspective, some food for thought, um, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week. But I don't feel like any weekly general tarot reading should be making a decision in your life, right? Um, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reading that you receive a reading from in, on YouTube, right? Or wherever. You get the point, Aquarius. So now that I said my piece with that, let's just start getting into your weekly general tarot reading, Aquarius. And starting out with the objective card for you. And what I, what I mean by the objective card, Aquarius, is this is going to be the energy that you're going to be exuding uh, this week. This is the energy that you're going to be in. Uh, and probably just through like the events that happen in your everyday life going on this week. So it is the four swords. So honey, Miss Aquarius or Mr. Aquarius, I always say miss just because that's just my slang, I guess. Um, uh, Aquarius, you guys are going through something. You guys are going through a time of um, self-reflection. You guys are going through a time of probably trying to process something. Uh, Aquarius, I don't know if something has, it leads me to believe something has happened in your life, Aquarius, that kind of has you in this place of um, self-reflection, just deep thought and just like taking something, trying to take something in, but at the same time of you trying to take it in, it just become, feels overwhelming to you at the same time. It's weird. I look weird right now. <laughs> me trying, this is me trying to talk to you seriously as I'm like putting my hoodie up. Um, I'm sorry, Aquarius. So, yeah, with this four, four swords, um, yeah, you're going through, you're just processing something. You're trying to be present with something, but at the same time, it's a lot for you, Aquarius. And the cards that I pulled for you are the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. And then let's pull one more for you as well. And the Sun card. So, Aquarius, you guys are in this place of um, learning. You're learning how to, um, how would we, how would we say this, Aquarius? It's like you took, like, a humbling experience with something. You, um, how would I put it? It's like something that you, something in your, like, something, 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 something. Your project of yours, uh, Aquarius, or something that you've worked hard on for a while, you know, this could be like a passion. Like, I do feel like this is something that's just like you wanted it to work out. So we'll just speak on like a passion project. You really wanted it to work out like a side hobby of yours. You wanted it to become like your main hobby, right? I see that with the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles as that, where it's just like it's something that you really like put a lot of work into, a lot of energy to refining your craft in some way, wanting it to work out. You've had something happen that's kind of made you be extremely present with yourself right now now i don't know if, this could be a good thing as well i know like it's i was giving off such a somber energy of where it's just like oh like you had to be extremely present or you're humbled but i it could be in a good or bad way it could be in a way where it's just like an opportunity has presented itself where you're working on like a project that's really big for you aquarius but um it kind of just has you in this place of being like, oh, wow, like you're realizing like you like might be like a big fish or like you're a fish and like you're a fish like with other big fishes and you're kind of like taking it in. Um, and you're just being like, oh, wow, I'm really doing something right. Or it could be a situation of where it's just like something happened in your life that's like 
Ten of Wands weighed you down. Something that's kind of um, being like, oh, wow, this is a really tough hurdle for you to go through right now, um, Aquarius. You, so it could be either or. Um, regardless, I do kind of see this as like a necessary thing, though. And dare I say, Aquarius, you kind of anticipated this as well on some level. You kind of, you kind of know this has been building up, I feel. So the clarifiers I pulled for your Ten of Wands, right? Did I even show you this card too clearly, Aquarius? Um, you got the Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and then the King of Queens. So the dynamic very much so, Aquarius, of you've known that you've had to, like, this was coming up, right? I don't feel like this has caught you off guard, right? Especially with that Sun card, it's showing to me that nothing was really too hidden right maybe you didn't know the time frame as when something was going to happen or you didn't know the exact details but it's kind of just like what do you expect to happen right um so with this five of cups coming in with this queen of swords it's almost like you had to ooh, move on from how would we say you had to put up, put up some boundaries it seems like maybe like a little bit of a um tough love almost right because with this king of coins this is letting me know of um all this is in terms of trying to bring more stability into your life again so for some of you aquariuses dare i say you might have like transitioned where you've been living um or like your living space right now is very rocky and like you are in the middle of trying to get to more stability in your life so trying to get to more stability in your life you kind of it's like on your journey, of, on your quest of being this king of pentacles, I guess we'll say, um, Aquarius, something has like put like a big pause on everything. And, and so it's like you're going through some type of transition being like, oh, OK, I guess now I have to put energy into this. I have to like I knew I wasn't going to be living here for forever, but I guess now I have to like really work at this, do something with this. Now I can't, you know, you're realizing something that you have to address something going through something. Um, and so with the world card coming in here, Aquarius, this lets me know, like, yeah, this is the cycle that was coming. This is something that, um, has been in the work, something that's been building up again. You may have not know the time frame of when this was going to happen, Aquarius, but this is definitely, this is definitely something that, uh, was bound to happen. And it just sucks that I was now, right? That's probably what it is that you're feeling around. It's like, it sucks as it was now. It sucks that it had to be this way. Um, so let's get into this more. We have the Judgment card coming in here. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles, as well as the Two of Cups. So action is taken um, towards... Um, <laughs> it sounds so corny. It's action is taken towards a brighter future for you. Aquarius, right? With this world card, shifts are happening, changes are happening. It's probably overwhelming right now because it's just a lot of things to manage, a lot of things, a lot, of, a lot of loose ends to tie up, a lot of, you know, especially think about it from a place of just like moving. How stressful is moving? Even if you're moving into a bigger and better place, just moving everything that you've had into a new place, the transition is a lot, right? Um, so I feel like you're just cutting out loose ends or tying up loose ends, right? Two of cups with the judgment card. Um, but I see this as all like, all this is in a good thing, right? I don't know why I keep, ha I feel like I have like this somber vibe right now, Aquarius, because I feel like that's kind of like the mental state you're in as well, where I just like, just, it's just like, it is what it is, right? It's just like, okay. Like, cause again, I don't feel like you're caught off guard by this. I feel like you're just like, okay. We're doing, we have to deal with this now. I have to deal with this now. Like, it wasn't the greatest timing. I feel, I heard just now, of course, like some of you guys feel, this, you're just like, man, this really wasn't the best of timing right now. But I guess if this is what we have to do, this is what we have to do, right? So let's see, let's close off this energy though. Because I feel like with this, this is kind of like not, I feel like we kind of like flushed this out a little bit. So two of swords, yeah. Um, indecision and I, I don't even know if that camera the camera card but it went flying back <laughs> um two of swords yeah this is definitely something that it's like a crossroads and it feels like you were presented a crossroads or a crossroads is leading up for you right now Aquarius where decisions need to be made and a choice has to be made and like it seems like 
the people that you're going on the same path with or the things that you're taking on that path with you for that Ten of Wands, right? You're releasing some of that because with this new path that you're taking in this fork in the road, like, it's not the normal path that you used to always take for a while. You're going into a lot of new things, I feel. Uh, that was really loud. I apologize, Aquarius. Um, so yeah, interesting. I actually want to also get into this Ten of Wands, though, because, or not Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, because this is where we're sort of building up into the blessings coming into your life, Aquarius. And when I say blessings, you know, this is things just building up for you in the moment, energetically, right, Aquarius? So with this Ten of Swords, this is like, this is a card where it's, um, it, some of you Aquariuses might know, depending on where you live, but like I'm from Florida. I used to live in Florida, rather. Um, and so <laughs> during hurricane season, after a hurricane, or after like a thunderstorm, like a pretty intense storm, you would walk out and there'd be like a type of different type of my nose is itchy. There'd be like a different energy to it. It would just feel different. It would just be like, after like the roughness of it all, like think like the birds start chirping again, um, things start settling down. It's just like this weird, not weird in a bad way, but it's just like a very like, everything's still and everything's like trying to like, not sure if to come out or not, you know, everything's trying to just like, it's a very som somber, somber feeling truly. Like the somber feeling is still following through. So the clarifiers we pulled for this 10 of swords, Hierophant, we have the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Strength card. Yeah, you're going, like, I don't feel like you're stressed. Well, you're probably stressing a little bit, Aquarius, right? Let's be real. But you are, especially with the Strength card, you're, you're definitely being challenged. But I feel like you're taking it really well, Aquarius. And I know from your past readings as well, Aquarius, you guys have been going through, like, out of all my zodiac signs, Aquarius, um, I feel like you guys have been the most experiencing, like, hurdle after hurdle after hurdle, hurdle. And I know, like, all the zodiac signs, like, we all are going through stuff, but it feels like with you, Aquarius, you guys have just been going through a lot. And I know for a lot of you, Aquarius, is you guys have been almost, like, a little bit too calm, honey. And it's just like, how are you handling this so well? <laughs> right? Page of Pentacles. Um, with the uh, Hierophant, though. I do feel like you guys are just... <sighs> I want to get more insight with the Page of Pentacles, actually, before I continue talking about that. Let's see what's up with this Page of Pentacles. Because this can be in a couple of different ways. We're not taking those. Are we taking those, though? We were taking those and that one. All right, so for your Page of Pentacles, Aquarius, we have the Devil card coming in for you. We have the Seven of Swords coming in for you. And then we also have the World coming in for you. So the World is following you. Um, this is letting me know, Aquarius, of... Um, It feels like the your 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 Florida hurricane season is about to come to an end. Essentially, Aquarius. That's what it's trying to get at. Like this Devil card comes in as like the hurricane season. Um, Seven of Swords comes in. It's just kind of speaking of the chaos, essentially, Aquarius. Like this is like you're going through a rough chaos right now. You're just, just like really bumpy right now, but it's pretty close to an end. With this World card coming in, like the World card again talks about cycles. You knew like. Everyone in Florida knows, honey, every year when hurricane season comes, you come prepped and ready, honey. So when that first hurricane comes in, when that second hurricane comes in, you're not really surprised, right, Aquarius? And so you handle it with ease, pretty scarily with ease. And, you know, as Floridians do, like anyone that's not from Florida, you're just like, why are you not freaking out? How are you not freaking out? Floridians are just like, well, it is what it is, right? I feel like that's your energy. And with the world card coming in a second time, it lets me know truly that you're breaking out of this cycle because this is getting into the blessings for you, right? Aquarius, we have, let's see here, one last card to close this off. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, adaptation, elevation. You're just in this progress. Like, things are really turning out for you right now, Aquarius. And while I know it probably is not really impacting, like, you're probably, probably receiving this message, Aquarius, and you're just like, okay, like, whatever, right? It's probably not really taking, you're not taking it in too much right now. But 
Um, and that's probably just because of like your survival mode. You're probably still in just survival mode. Yeah, but I promise you, like, Six of Pentacles, this is where it starts ramping up for you beautifully. This is where your things are paying out beautifully for you, Aquarius. Like, you're getting putting distance between you and the those hard, harsh lessons that you're putting distance. Yeah. Six of Swords, Six of... Or not Six of... Yeah, Six of Swords, Death card, and the Devil card. You're transitioning. You're moving on from the, like... You're moving on from that toxic environment that you used to live at, right? You, you're moving from those awful roommates, Aquarius. You're moving from, um, moving on from the relationship that was just not bringing you any joy. You're moving on from things that you're putting a lot of energy into, but you're not getting anything back. And if anything, you're just losing your energy because you're putting so much of your energy into some type of situation that just wasn't paying out for you. And now, like, so close you're just so close like while you're in this transition of finishing up your hurricane season you're like you're so close to being done with it and like it's because like you're being forced to like go into like a new environment being forced to move being forced what have you um that's when the beauty is that's where the beauty is the empress card this is yeah yeah <laughs> aquarius i love that you're getting this card i know this card has followed you for a while aquarius this is definitely like you're just very in tune with the universe. You are like you're this you're you're thriving you're going to be thriving really soon, if not already. But I know you get the sense of that already. Even if you don't believe me right now, Aquarius, come back to me in a couple months and let me know how you're feeling. Because I feel like things are really dramatically changing. And I feel like if you were to open yourself up a little bit, you'd be willing to admit how things are opening up to you as well. Three of Wands, there is, you're getting a sense of things coming to an end. You're getting a sense of the closure. You know what you're doing is the right moves, right? King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and then the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you are on your way. You are definitely on the right path, Aquarius, right? Uh, I commend you guys, Aquarius. You guys, out of all of them, ha ha seemingly handle the stress. Seemingly handle the stress that the universe throws at you extremely well. Out of like all the zodiac signs, because it just like you guys are just remaining focused. You got because you have your eye on the prize, which is your ten of cups, right? Whether it's the, that family, whether it's just having like all your cups filled and not having to stress about anything anymore. You are just so focused on that, that you're not allowing yourself to be dissuaded by anything. You, you know, you're keeping your eye on the prize and you're just continuing going forward each and every single day. And so it's, it's like, I don't even know what I need to say at this point for you, Aquarius. I feel like you kind of just have it in the bag. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap this reading up for you, Aquarius. If you did enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aquarius, I would really appreciate it if you were to share uh, my Zodiac re uh, zodiac readings with a friend of yours, because I do all the Zodiac signs, all the weekly tarot readings. So be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. But until, ne until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. Bye.